Hello, it's Bailey, and in January, I'm going to be reading some of my booktube friends' favorite books. So this is going to be the first of two vlogs, and then I have actually another book of a friend that I am fitting into another video, but I will be reading five of my friend's favorite books this month, and in this vlog, I'm going to be starting with my friend Ashley from Ashley's Reads or Of Fiction and Fantasy. I will link her channel down below, but I'm going to be starting with her recommendation, which was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson, and I'm really excited to read this one. My understanding is it's kind of a YA thriller, and a girl is writing a story for her like senior project about a crime that happened in her town and yeah that's all I really know for now. I'm excited to get this started and I'm excited to see whose books I like the most. Good morning it is the next day but I did get pretty far in a good girl's guide to murder last night. I got to part two which I think is right at about the 100 page mark and it is very fast paced like it's going super fast. My only concern with like YA thrillers that involve a missing person is that there are a couple like easy solutions that I always hope it's not going towards. Uh, but so far like the group of characters is interesting. I'm just really hoping that this has like a unique twist and not something too simple. I'm about to join some sprints on Tammy's channel so I thought I would jump in and update before those start but I am like right at the 50% mark now and it is pretty good I'm enjoying it I forgot to mention earlier it is like mixed media so you're getting like text messages sometimes and you're getting like her entries for her project and I love that in books and so I think I am like dimming down my actual enjoyment. I am actually really enjoying this book. So hopefully I'll get it done fairly early today. I feel like I need to talk this through because I just read through this book so fast. But I did end up giving this three stars. It did suffer from predictability. And I also think this happens with a lot of YA thrillers. It's the believability at points with having a teenager trying to do detective work by themselves just is hard to sometimes believe. Um, I will say I think this is a great place to start if you're someone who is not into thrillers. I think the things that I found predictable you wouldn't and I absolutely understand why Ashley loved this so much because she is not a thriller reader. She doesn't read that many mysteries and she even said that in her review. I went back and read what she wrote when she read it. And I absolutely understand why she loved this. And I will even say for myself, throughout the reading process, I was really enjoying it. It's just like when you get to that end and the concepts I had in my mind of what was happening were basically what happened is where it left it disappointing for me. So I did end up giving this three stars. But like I said, there's certain people that I would absolutely recommend this to. But if you're like really into the thriller genre. I'd probably skip this one. I would be interested to recommend other thrillers to Ashley now knowing that she enjoyed this one because I don't think some of my favorite thrillers I would re recommend to her directly after that. But yeah, hopefully this will lead her into more in the genre. So that's my thoughts on A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I'm gonna read the premise of the next book and see if that's something I would maybe be interested in because I know this is a series but um not sure as of now. It is the same day but I changed and it's nighttime now but I did want to start my next book before like talking about it because I didn't really know completely what this was uh, but next I am reading a recommendation from Martine from Just Martine and if you don't know she reads a lot of like lesser hyped books. She recently did a video uh, like finding books at the Dollar Tree and she just finds a lot of unique ways to get books cheap and also has inspired me to want to read more independent authors. So I decided to pick up, let me grab it, Lazarus by Marianne Malone Woods as her recommendation. And this only has like 25 ratings on Goodreads. I think Martine got it as an arc. 
uh, and it just came out in September, I think. And it's not independently published. It's a small publishing house. It's published by Owl Hollow Press. But yeah, like I said, this only has like 25 ratings on Goodreads, but they're all like four or five star ratings. I saw one three star rating and the rest were four and five stars. So that's intriguing to me, but this also is a YA mystery and it's classified as paranormal because it is, from my understanding so far, I read just like the first 50 pages, but it is a girl and her mom died seven years ago and her boyfriend died like just a few months ago, but she's still interacting with him as a ghost. So I think it's gonna be like them doing detective work, but he's a ghost. <laughs> but it is set in small town Nebraska which is very close to where I live and also a state that I feel like nobody knows where it's at because I live in Iowa and I feel like nobody actually knows where Iowa is. And so far it's like funny and I'm still not really sure where it's going, but that's what I've started now. It is getting decently late, late for me. It's 8.45, so I probably will read just a little bit more of this tonight and then update in the morning. Good morning. I am sat down and reading Lazarus already this morning. I am about halfway through right now and I just don't know about this. I have marked like a few like four or five tabs of things that have been said that I find a little like unsavory uh, but I do understand why Martine like likes this. From what I have read that she also reads I know that she likes like some of the humor in this probably. Uh, I also just think that like paranormal isn't really for me and there is a little bit too much of like too much tragedy. Like it's like her mom died, her dad had a heart attack, another person died which is actually like the crime they're trying to solve. I thought going in that they were trying to solve her mom's death but that's not really what's happening as of now. So yeah I'm not really sure. It is like a with her boyfriend being a ghost it is kind of like discussing like the in-between stage of like you died now you're in the in-between but eventually you can't stay in the in-between forever so I'm wondering kind of what's gonna happen there but yeah it's only like a 250 page book it is afternoon now which basically just means that Chris is downstairs watching football and not making noise but we did leave and come back uh, my stepsister was having her baby shower today which was just like a drive-by so we Essentially, like, I bought her her changing table. We essentially dropped it off and left. And then we went, and I needed new shoes for work. So I went and I bought new, just, like, gray tennis shoes. And now I'm back. I'm going to watch one YouTube video and then keep reading. I'm pretty close to finishing Lazarus. So I did just finish Lazarus, and I'm kind of conflicted on this because it, it wasn't terrible, but my rating is going to be pretty low. All in all, I would give this probably a two stars, like between a one and a half and a two star. There's nothing inherently bad about it. It just wasn't, I don't know, I, I didn't feel it. I would say that the characters were very, I struggled to connect to them and like the emotions were very surface level. And looking up more about the author, it seems like she previously has written plays and like more script type stuff and I think that was apparent here in the writing of this book and how much it was talking and less like the emotions and stuff behind things. So and again I think this suffers from with YA Mysteries the believability of a teenager going out and doing certain things alone. Like the main character in this book was given first access and is who like combed through a crime scene which makes obviously realistically no sense. But like I said, it wasn't bad. I just, this is something that's not gonna be very memorable at all to me. So unfortunately, the first two friends that I read books from this month were Ashley and Martine, and I didn't love either of their books or their picks for their favorites, but I will be coming at you again later this month with more of my friends' favorites, so I hope that you will tune in for those as well. And if you've read either of these books, let me know what you thought. I think widely, probably nobody has read, nobody else has read Lazarus, but A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is very well loved and read by a lot of people. So if you've read that, let me know down below and let me know 
if you were to recommend me a book, what you would recommend. And I will see you very soon. Bye.